Hello everyone, today we're going to check out Botstar. Botstar is a messenger chatbot and also you can integrate it on your website as a widget like you can see here in the example. It could be a full page or it could be type of footer type of widget as a chat. Now what we're going to do in this video is create a chatbot that's actually useful and we're going to do it really quickly. So I want to show you that it's really friendly and easy to build. So let's head on over to Botstar and this is the dashboard that you're going to be greeted with. And the first thing that we're going to do is create a brand new bot. Now, first off, you get greeted with a whole bunch of templates that you can use. Maybe you have the business that's already here and you can use it. But in this case, I want to build a bot from scratch because I want to actually show you how easy it is. Let's just call this one test. And you can set language, the time zone and the greeting message. Create a bot. And this is how we're going to create the workflow. Why do I say flow? Because it's actually going to look like a flow. We got some arrows flowing to the next section. So we'll see that in a bit. Now I said I'm going to build a useful bot, right? So let's start off by checking out this basic blocks. So let's create a block like a button list. I'll add this one first. And the first thing we have on the button list, obviously it's a message and then some buttons. So in this case, we're going to start off by greeting them. So let's just say hello. We have the menu right here of variables. These variables are captured through Facebook. So already, Facebook already has this information. So full name, and we're gonna say, how can I help you? All right, so we got that there. And the button number one, I mean, I would add, it would depend on your business, what are the most frequently asked questions? And I would try to cover them in this section, right? <clears throat> so in this case, I would say, hey, you know, what's the address? thinking it's a restaurant, all right? So people ask a lot, hey, what's the address? Number two, phone number. Phone number, um, number three, menu. Now this would depend on your business, like I said. All right, so let's connect this module. I click on this one, I drag the arrow to this box and it creates a flow with an arrow to that box. So this is where it's going to start, okay guys? And now let's give some function to these buttons. They're not doing anything. They're not connected to anything. So first off, let's say address, all right? And I could put a simple text. Let's just say a text and right there, it's connected to there. And I'm gonna add on us another button option. Let me drag these on top so they don't get clunky. And I'm gonna connect this text to this one. So it's gonna send the text and also this button list. So I said, this is the address, right? So let's just say this was the address. And it's also going to send this one. Anything else I can help you with? All right. Oh, sorry for my misspellings. All right. And then we give them again the option. Now, what do you do in this index six, this section? Let's just say they this is the they asked for the address. They got the address. Maybe they hey I also wanted the phone, man. So all right. So we give them again the option for phone. All right. And then we give them another option like um, our opening hours. All right, and just those two for now. Now, phone number. We are also going to create again with buttons. Um, notice how I like to use buttons. Why? Because I want to keep the flow going and I want to cover more questions. Uh, buttons are only able to create up to three buttons. If you want more, you would create a horizontal one. So in this case, and this is the, did I say phone number, right? If I click over here, I know what arrow is going over here. So we got the purple going to this one. All right, let's just say this is phone number, right? So this is the phone number. Then button number one, obviously I'll say, hey, you want the address? Button number two, we could say um, Google, no, no. Uh, geez, I'm trying to think of something useful really quick. Uh, Mobile phone, all right, mobile phone. And something I wanna add here on the address, when they get the address on button number three, I'm gonna say Google Maps. Uh, you like that one, right? How am I gonna connect this? I'll show you in a bit. All right, so yeah, I, got, I got that. And then we have the menu. So what are we gonna do with menu? I'm gonna use a horizontal list. Put it over here. Uh, let me go a little bit higher, drag this up gonna connect it from here this button is gonna go to this one all right and in this case we have an image so I'm gonna upload an image you can use all use URL or you can use a CMS and I'm just gonna select this camera right I'm just gonna say this is my logo from the business or the menu like cover okay and we're gonna say as a subtitle you put something here our menu 
and then again give them options for button also add more variables so menu number two page three page four so on and so forth all right and next thing we're gonna do is connect this google maps one so you're saying hey you said google maps how are you gonna do that well we're gonna create a link for this one so instead of going to another workflow we're gonna create it open a window view so in this case we're gonna add the url search for your um your business on google maps put the url there when someone clicks it on the phone it's going to open it if it clicks on the web you're going to view it right so it's really cool to have that option and in this case it stops here it's not flowing right so if they ask for the phone number it's going to again connect to this one so now we have two arrows connecting to phone number but one if they go straight from the phone number they'll go here but if they go to the address and then click on phone it's go over here same thing we'll do with this one it'll go to the address one so now it's flowing with each other. Now you're going to say, hey, you know what? Um, I'm a little stuck. That looks kind of weird. Am I doing it right? All right. This is what I really love about uh, BotStar is that it has a really nice way to flow. So we got this preview button right here. It looks like a play button. Let's click on it. And it's actually going to show you how it's actually working. So we can click, click on start. All right. So it took us to the main one. So hello, guest Katarsi. How are you? How can I help you? So let's just say, hey, you know what? I want the address. All right, that's the address. People are going to get this message. Oh, wow, I got the address, right? Really quick. And then I gave them, remember we gave them two options. It's going it, to, not two options, two flows, text and text with button. So here's the text with button. They could keep going. Oh, was there something else? Yeah, what's their phone number? Their address is, is right near me. So now I want to call them. So phone number. And there's the phone number. And again, I gave them the address and then I gave them a mobile phone number. I can go to address again. Go to that flow again if I needed the address again. What was the opening hours? Oh, didn't set that. All right, so there. I saw with that preview that I don't, I don't have a connection for the opening hours. Now I can connect that there. All right, boom, it's opening hours and it's connected. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple to get an actual useful bot to cover basic questions that you know you're getting repeated ones over and over. You cover that. Now, there's also the second option to use the uh, neuro linguistic programming, which is um, NLP, which basically means trying to emulate a real life person. So what it does, it tries to cover questions. Um, to do that, you would have to go to connect, go to integration and use with AI, with AI or dialogue flow. Personally, personally, I do not like this. I hate when I go to a bot and I'm chatting and I ask a question and it, it shows me another like, hey, I didn't understand you. Can you repeat it again? I'm like, oh, I, I, I hate that. Now, dialogue flow is super, super complex that you can try to cover most questions. But at the end of the day, it's impossible to cover what people are thinking. It's, it's really complex to know what people are going to ask. Um, it's useful. Yes. Do I like it? No. But can you use it? Yeah. I mean, it's there. People are using it. But I just personally hate a bot that just keeps repeating over and over and over again. I like to cover basic questions. And if they ask something, so in this preview, I'll get started. And if a user says, you know what, that's nothing that I wanted. But hey, you know what? I am really mad with your, with your service, right? So in this case, I get this message and the bot won't go on. All right. It's, it's not like, hey, you know what? I didn't understand you. Can you repeat the question? I don't understand you. No, it stops there. I go check it, um, you know, three times a day, five times a day. And then I answer personally when it's not one of the things they basically want. I try to cover every, every, every single question. But if not, it's like this, you know, I go and board it. But you have the option to create um, more complex modules or have the dialogue flow. All right. Another cool feature, but well, before we get to a cool feature, let's connect it to a fan page because I want to show you how easy this is. All right. So we're going to connect this one. And the first thing you would do is, oh man, connect your Facebook page. So once you connect your Facebook page, it gives you a list of all your fan pages and you'd select which ones you bought BotStar to connect to or you're able to connect to. So in this case, I loaded two and I'm going to sign this, this one I just created to this one. I'm going to publish it just to make it live. All right. So now it should be working on this site. Now we can go test it in a bit. Ah, connect that. 
But before we head there, we have the op also the option, like I told you, to connect it on your website. Now, to connect it to a web website, you have to whitelist the domain first because let's just say someone steals that code and put it on their website. If it's not whitelisted, it won't show the bot, all right? So in this case, you whitelist it, you grab this code right here, and you embed it on your site. Now, like I said, you got the mode live chat, like the one I showed you, you got the infant inline pop-up or full page. Um, you got all these options to uh, customize it. So you got theme colors, display avatar, your logo, custom name for the bot in this case, like say, hey, you know what? Hey, I'm Alex, right? I'm, I'm, I'm Freddy. Whatever you want to put, you can put it there. Like I'm, I'm bot Freddy, something like that. You get it. And the integrations, all right. So that's how you connect your uh, fan page. Let's actually go test it. Here's the fan page. Let's just let me reload it so it doesn't uh, mix up. And what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm, a, I'm actually the admin, but I'll add a button right here. I'm gonna say, uh, contact you. I'm gonna con oh, send message, next. Messenger, sorry, you wouldn't have to do this, but if you want to set it up. All right, so I'm gonna test the button because I'm actually the admin and I'm gonna click get started. And this is actually what a user would do. They would have that option to get started. There you go. Hello, Jorge Aguilar Avendano, because I said full name. We can do it to just the first name. And there it is, address, phone number, and menu. Imagine I'm a, I'm a restaurant, imagine that. All right, and I wanna, okay, first thing I wanna know, God, I wanna make a reservation. Phone number, boom. All right, so I'm checking that. There's the phone number, all right? I grab it and I dial, all right? Or if I'm on a phone, I have it there and I dialed. It saved me time. It, I, I didn't have to search it up. It just gave me the phone number really quickly. And if I needed the address, I would get it really quickly right here. And that's how I love to use bots. Give them the, the, the basic information really quickly. Imagine someone's hungry. They want to know if it's open. They want to know where you are. They want to know your phone number or blah, 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 but really quickly. If you don't answer really quickly in this case for a restaurant, for example, they would just jump to another business. You know what? Hey, I'm going to ask this other one. And whoever answers first, hey, yeah, we're open. Come on in. Oh, boom, you go, right? So it's, it's cool to give that information really quickly. So there you go. That's how easy it is to connect the bot. Now let's talk about all the bunch of features that um, Botstar has. There's so many things. <clears throat> you got the basic blocks, right? Like you saw, there's actual video, there's image, there's file, there's audio, and there's more advanced blocks to create more complex features. Now you can connect this to a CMS also and create scripts to make it more complex, to capture information, to grab that information. Um, remember with, with um, Connect, we have the integrations. Now you can use Integromat or Zapier to actually send useful information. So if I click Integromat, you have these type of event types. So new checkpoint record, new subscriber, tag user, request human takeover, update. Um, remember I told you about Dialogflow, uh, how sometimes it can get really annoying when they say, hey, I didn't understand you. Well, you could do uh, an integration to say, when the person asks for a human to take over, it'll like send you, you know. With Integromat, with Zapier, you can say, send me a text message, send me, I mean, we can even call you, I guess, um, send you a Slack message, an email or whatever, and just say, hey, someone's asking for a human takeover. Um, get to it. You can do it this way. Um, like I said, I don't like it, but it's there. <laughs> Let's go back to build. <clears throat> so in this case, you can get more complex with modules, add modules, outlets. You can add script, run scripts, HTTP block, HTTP action, language switch. So if you're using um, two languages or variable, variable languages. So let's just say um, United States and your business in California and you have a Mexican restaurant and you know there's a lot of Mexicans in California. So you give them the option from the beginning to actually have the option to switch to Spanish and English and continue the flow in Spanish instead of English. How cool is that? Yeah, it's possible. Then you got the action block. So update variable. So just in case you want to update a variable with something that's already written here. So let's just say in one of these um, right here, this button no not that button actually with this mobile one i didn't connect anything right but let's just say in this one you oh, with this one this phone number i said um i want i want a quote all right of something right and you go over here all right so you say okay give us your email or whatever right so when they answer that one there's a create a new message and you can create a variable from that message so you can update a variable 
You can update a user attributes. You can tag it, untag it. Uh, these are more complex because there's also a CMS right here that you can take advantage of. I'll show you in a bit. Uh, save to a checkpoint. Let a human take over. Remember that option. Add a subscriber. Remove a subscriber. So in this case, you can add, for example, boom, add a subscriber. So let's just say you add a button right here and you say unsubscribe. Unsubscribe, right? And you connect it to that one. Boom. Goodbye, subscriber. Email operator. And last but not least, dialog flow. I don't have it connected, so it won't give me the option to use it because I don't like it. I really don't like it. Sorry, guys. So you got those options there. Next thing we got to connect, we saw this option right here. So you got a couple of options to modify a little bit more. You got disable message composer, notifications, audience filtering. You got the website connection. We saw that already. The integrations and growth tools. So you can create a bot landing URL. So in this case, you can create it from that messenger bot it gives you the url and they can just chat from there just in case you want to create that you can create a landing page and a comment trigger comment trigger is a way to when someone comments on the fan page it'll respond to that comment with a variable uh, message that you said so landing message you can see you can do a random like you can say hi it can be hello whoops hello hello the other ones, how are you? Thank you for messaging us. Thank you for the comment, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. <laughs> Build. Now we have the CMS. C CMS right here, you got the content management management system. So you can con manage the content that you're grabbing from the bot in here to actually create more. So it's kind of like a database, right? And then you got keywords. So keywords right here, you can create a custom variable. So in this case, I'll call it test again. Language, it's English. And in this keyword, you can capture basic keywords and create a message from it. So in this case, you can say mm, this one right here. If the message contains, um, I am, mm, I just say matter, right? So if the phrase contains, I am really mad, it's going to capture mad and it's going to respond with this message or send it to a block, right? So in this case, I'll say we are sorry to hear that. How can we help you or give us more information, so on and so forth. So it's going to capture that keyword and it's going to send a message. Let me show you that really quickly. It's going to play. Oh, get started. Uh -huh. All right. So you got that. But a person said, well, let's just say I am really mad. See, we are sorry. We are sorry. Sorry, I forgot to hear that. How can I help you, right? So it, it sent that message right there. Now, if you go to new smart keyword, that would go with the algorithms of uh, with AI or dialogue flow. You, you can create a flow with that. You can create more complex ones. You can create variable ones to send different messages, not just this one. But just to give you a sense, that's how it would work. So it's pretty easy and straightforward to get started. Once you get to more complex things, obviously you're going to have to um, you support, um, read the documentations, and get more complex things. In this case, this video is to show you how you can build a simple but useful bot really quickly and to get started. Uh, what I recommend that you get started really quickly because all the um, all the conversations that start getting that, that start showing right here, you can start capturing users to then send them a broadcast message. So in the broadcast broadcast message is, for example, if you got a hundred users who message you, you can broadcast to them. A certain message now there's some rules and there's some things that you got to know about Facebook but you'll know that in time but you can send the broadcast to all of them say you have a cell you can send it to all of them all anyone who contacted you through messenger and kept that subscriber that didn't unsubscribe all right you can send a message to them well, all right guys that is a really really fast and useful video I think to create a bot and you can get a flow of what you can do within how to create a useful bot I hope you guys like this video. The link will be in the description for the deal. If you guys want to grab it, the link will be there. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SASMaster. See you guys later.